how I get sniper entries when trading Forex. So in this video, I'll just show you as a continuation from yesterday's video where I explained how I start my whole technical analysis process from the monthly to the weekly time frame. In this video, I'll just show you the exact entry process that I use, right? So without wasting any further time, let's get into it. So based on the three, on the four currency pairs that I went over yesterday, which is Euro USD, Euro CAD, Euro AUD, as well as Euro NZD, I'll go over the same method that I use to enter those positions. Like I said, I won't waste your time by doing back testing and looking at put trades that I could have taken or missed or whatever the case may be. I'll just show you based on opportunities that I took advantage of. So if we look at Euro USD right now on the weekly time frame, based on the analysis that we did yesterday, this is the level where we're looking to sell. And then once price gets to this level, which is, as you can see, price got to this level around the 3rd of May. These were the first times that price got to this level, but our entry opportunity or our entry criteria was not met. So you might be asking, what is the entry criteria? Essentially, remember what I said yesterday, for a, a supply level to be valid, it needs to be a bearish engulfing. For a demand level to be valid, it needs to be a bullish engulfing. The same applies when I'm looking to take my trades. I look for a bearish engulfing on the on the lower time frame or I look for a bullish engulfing on the lower time frame if I'm looking to buy, right? And if I'm looking to sell a bearish engulfing, I just can pull, I keep it as simple as that. So when it comes to Euro USD, price got got to my level or my supply level here. And as you can see, I'll just uh, highlight this day and another thing guys to take note based on how I trade I do not trade Mondays right so I let I let the market play out on Monday and then I start looking for my opportunities from Tuesday moving forward so that is just how I roll so as you can see this was Tuesday and then this was Monday right and in this case another another important thing to remember that you need for me to look to sell the next day, I need a bullish close the previous day because that tells me that price is pulling up or is reversing to the upside, right? And that is what I want, price to go higher so that I can sell at an expensive level or price to go lower so that I can buy at a, at a, at a, at a cheaper level, right? So I need a bullish close on the daily for me to look to, to sell the next day, right? Granted that price is already at my supply level because in this case, I'm using an example of a supply. So once that happens, then I'd go down to the four hour. And then on the very same day, I'd look, I'd wait for the four hour time frame to give me an entry, right? Whether it's the four hour or whether it's the, or whether it's the, um, any time frame from the 15 minutes or 15 minutes, 30 minutes, one hour and the four hour. Those are the time frames that I'd look for. I'd look for selling opportunities of which in this case, uh, as you can see on the four hour, like I said, I just keep it simple. I need a bearish engulfing. I need a bullish engulfing if I'm looking to buy. And as you can see, we had a bearish engulfing here on the four hour, which was the next day, which was the following day, which was a uh, Thursday. So the day following, uh, following or the day after, uh, a bullish close on the daily, right? Which was Wednesday. So on the four hour, that is where I got my, my confirmation, which was this bearish. And then I wait for price to retest my supply. Same thing. I keep it simple. What I do on the higher time frame is pretty much essentially what I do on the lower time frames. So this is my level. And then simple as that, I just have my, my entry. So exactly here. So my sell limit essentially exactly here. And then I'd wait for price to get there. My stop loss is usually a minimum of 30 pips and I'd say maximum 60 pips, right? So 30 pips, 60 pips, depending on, on where we are from the from the most recent high. So this would be my entry. And then of course my take profit at get on at get at, at it's a series, guys. So I'll get to how I, I, I measure my take profits in, in in a future video. But for now I just want to go over how I actually get my sniper entries, right? So and then essentially this is this would be it when it comes to Euro USD. This is how I got my entry. And then, of course, if you look at it from different time frames, higher time frame, you go, with, you have you getting those weak entries, right? So this is essentially the same process that I followed to execute all the other positions, right? So if you go into Euro AUD, and we start on the weekly time frame as well, 
and uh, so that we can see where our level was from uh, yesterday's analysis and if you don't understand how i got these levels guys just watch uh, yesterday's video uh, which is titled how i do my simple forex technical analysis step by step uh, just look at that video or watch that video first so that you can understand because it links into this right so same thing here i go into the daily if i'm looking to if i'm looking to sell i need a bullish close on the daily and this was the first day that the market got to my level which was on a tuesday of course like i said i do not trade mondays i only look to trade on tuesdays moving forward right and uh, throughout throughout until friday so this would be the day and then i'd go into the four hour same process that i that i said right i look for what i look for a bearish engulfing if i'm looking to sell and i wait for price to retest that supply level if i'm looking to sell so in this case here was the four hour but of course for the four hour candle to form we need we have to have the lower time frame candles one hour 30 minutes on and so forth in this case i use the i use the one hour to execute uh when it comes to uh euro euro aud so it was this candle right here so we had a bearish engulfing and then of course like i just said i wait for price to retest uh, my supply level and then of course my stop loss is around 60 pips maximum so in this case you see if i had placed it at around 30 pips it would have been around this area so in this case 60 pips would be ideal because it would be right above there right and then of course uh I place my sell limit and I wait for price to get back to my entry, right? Oh, to trigger me in. If it does not trigger me in and it continues to fall, oh, my bad. I missed the trade, which means obviously is what it was not my trade. And as you can see, currently this trade is running at around 500 pips uh, with a stop loss of 60 pips. So that is how I get my sniper entries. And most importantly, that is how I maximize on my risk to reward ratio then i cannot i cannot be be subtle on i maximize on my risk to reward ratio right so it's the same process guys that i follow like the same way i did my analysis on the higher time frame it's the same process i need for for me to get evidence i need that bearish engulfing because it's showing that there's momentum and i want price to retest that level right and that is how i take my entries with euro nzd as well it's the same process. Oh, I also uh, almost forgot to mention something very, very important uh, when it comes to entries. Uh, okay, no, I'll mention it in the next video, right? Because why? if I do explain it now, it will prolong the video. But it's essentially around the four hour. Let me just mention it, even though I may not show it, uh, but I'll just mention it right now. So like like in this in this example of of, 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 of Euro AUD, right? So I took my entry based on the one hour but what is also important is that you need to calculate or time your entries based on the four hour candles, right? So what do I mean? What do you mean, Sanele, by that? Essentially, what I mean is that there are four one hour candles within a four hour candle. So the first three hours of a four hour candle, those are the most, how can I put it, ripe time frame time frames or time periods for me to take my entry so i need to get my entry in the first three hours of any four hour candle so if that four hour candle let's say for example sake let's use this as an example uh to make things easier and more practical because i'm trying to make this as practical as it can be so i'll just use my level right here so this was the opening of this four hour candle right and then obviously the close would be at the start of the following four hour candle. I hope you guys can see these red uh, vertical lines that I have here. So if I go into the one hour, remember I said I used the one hour as my entry time frame. So now that I used the one hour as my entry time frame, uh, let's just send this to the back. So as you can see, this first this first vertical line is when the four hour candle opened which was around 3 p.m. South African time, right? Because it's it's an hour earlier. Usually it's at 4 p.m., but it's an hour earlier now based on, can't remember the is it daylight savings time or something, but yeah, it's that transition period. So in the first few, first three hours of the four hour candle, so I need to get an entry either in the first hour, the second hour or the third hour. 
before so if it's the last hour of a four hour candle so they if there's only one hour left before a new four hour candle starts even if i were to get an entry i would ignore that i would or even if i were to get a signal to enter i would ignore that so i need it in the first few hours or the first three hours that is one thing that i wanted i wanted sorry guys to highlight right it's something that is also very important when it comes to timing my entries right so yeah that is that and then if you go into euro nzd i don't want to make this video very long and i tried to keep it as not more than 15 minutes so similar process um if we go into the onto the weekly sorry onto the weekly here as you can see price came into my price came into my level uh and then you go into the lower time frames you go into the daily as you can see you had a bullish close on the daily you drop down to the four hour and you're looking for what you're looking for that entry as well obviously in real time it's not gonna start on the four hour it will definitely start on what on the lower time frames what do i mean it will start on either the 15 minutes and then from time frame to time frame right and then it progresses and on and on and on and on so that is essentially what i look for whenever i'm looking for those sniper entries right and then we go into the 30 minutes go into the 30 minutes as you can see uh, i'm just looking for those what i'm just looking for those entries that we can get on the lower time frames right so on the new day that is what i'm looking for right or on that on the very same day in 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 in, in, in within my trading period that is what i'm looking for or after that right so in this case if we look at uh euro euro nzd if i go into the four hour same thing I need it. I need my entry within the first what? The first three hours of a four hour candle. Uh, so my entry was around this level here. So I think it was around the following candles when it comes to Euro NZD. So let's just highlight these two four hour candles and then we go into the 30 minutes. So as you can see here, it was within the first hour, the first three hours. So this this four hour candle opened at 7 p.m. South African time. So my entry was around 9 p.m. So that's 7 to 8, 8 to 9. So within the at the close of the second hour, right? So that was within my window period to watch to execute. And then same thing, guys. I just place a sell limit. Uh, immediately as I get my bearish engulfing place a sell limit and then where's the high of the candle it's around it's around 30 42 pips so I'd keep it at around let's say 60 pips right like I said it's usually within that range I can keep it at 50 but I just choose to either be a solid 60 or a solid 30 pips right depending so just keep it at 60 pips and then that that was my entry right there right so it's pretty much simple how, how 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 I approach things. Of course, maybe now as I'm explaining it to you, because maybe it's the first time you're seeing how I do it, it might seem daunting or difficult or confusing. But as you can see, this position is currently running 700 pips and I have a stop loss of around 60 pips, right? So it's risk to reward ratio. We're looking at one is to 11 already, right? That's one is to 11. So that's essentially how I execute. And then lastly, okay, we, we haven't passed uh, the 15 um, minute mark. Lastly, EuroCAD, same approach, same process. Uh, once price gets to my level, I, go, I switch down to the daily and then I look for what? I look for an entry opportunity uh, in terms of price getting to my what? Getting to my level. And then I look at the four hour do I have an entry based on the four hour? Yes, in this case, this was a bearish engulfing. And then of course, uh, for the four hour to, to form, would firstly have to form a 15 minute candle, a one hour candle. But in this case, cause it's not a live execution, uh, we just have a, a four hour already present there. Then if I go into the one hour, same process. So as you can see here, this is the one hour and then is it within the first three hours of the four hour candle of, of the of the of the new four hour candle yes it is this was the bearish engulfing so i placed my sell limit and then yeah it's, it's the same process right with, with 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 most of my executions it's 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 the same process right and then of course my stop loss 30 pips no 
so it has to be 60 pips right so it's above this high right here and then that was essentially how i executed uh my 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 position on euro cat as well so like i said i just be going over the the positions that i do have running at the moment so that i do not tell you about old positions that i took at some point no just what i have running currently and this one uh, we're currently running at uh, 340 pips uh, with a stop loss of 60 pips, right? So this one on its own, it's currently at around 1 is to 5, right? So it's not really bad. Like I said, I maximize on my risk to reward, but most importantly, I keep things simple, right? So I hope this video makes sense. If you have any questions, drop them in the comments uh, or you can hit, hit me up on my socials on Instagram. Uh, if you have any questions uh, with regards to this entries, right? And of course, I'll be making future videos where I'll be going into more detail. But essentially, this is how this is how I execute, guys. Uh, there's in terms of more detail, it will be me just uh, refining more in terms of when exactly. Like I said, I gave you that it should be within the first three hours of the four hour candle. But it's also important when, right? In terms of time session right or trading session that is also very important but so that this video does not get any longer than it currently is that is what i wanted to show you guys today how i actually get my sniper entries when i trade forex i hope this video made sense and cheers catch you in the next 